today in this video we will be discussing 200 mcqs important mcqs for common law admission test on constitutional law of india let's start the highest decision making authority in our political administrative system in india is the president prime minister cabinet or none of the above is talking about the highest decision making authority in the political administrative system the answer should be the cabinet the next question money and financial bills can originate only in Rajya Sabha Lok Sabha both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha or the state legislatures no the money and the financial bills can only be originated in Lok Sabha The first state to be formed on the linguistic basis in 1953 was Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh. On linguistic basis, the first India, uh, Indian state to be formed is the Andhra Pradesh, the state of Andhra Pradesh. It was formed on the basis of linguistic basis for the first time in India. The pattern of distribution of powers in the Indian constitution has been borrowed from the constitution of which nation? Part, you know, part 11, part 11, and article 245 to 263, the structure of having these powers divided into three lists, union list, state list, and the concurrent list. This feature of division of powers between the union state and the list where union as well as state can act these features has been brought from the constitution of Canada Article 44 of the Indian Constitution provides for uniform civil code for citizens, organization of village panchayats, right to education, right to property. Article 44, it has, it provides provision for the uniform civil code for citizens. A is the correct answer. Who amongst the following is not appointed by the President of India? Chief Justice of India appointed by President of India. Judges of High Court are also appointed by the President of India. Governor of a state, they are also appointed by the President of India. This Chief Minister of the state, they are not appointed by the President of India, but appointed by the Governor of that particular state. Who among the following was the first leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha? Y.B. Chavan, Rajiv Gandhi, Ram Singh Alwalia, and G. Ranga. Leader of, first leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha. It is Y.B. Chavan. And this post was, you know, uh, created for the first time in India in the year 1977. And he was the first one to be the leader of opposition from the Congress party. Which schedule of the Indian Constitution deals with anti-defection laws? Schedule 6, 7, 10, 9 or 8? Schedule 10, it talks about anti-defection laws. And it was inserted in the year 1985. In 1985, it was inserted in the Constitution, anti-defection laws. Defection means joining the opposite party. Suppose a person is a candidate is from Congress and after the election result is over, he joins BJP. After winning from this Congress party, he supports BJP and joins BJP. This will be known as defection. So, the anti-defection laws, they are, provided, they are provided in Schedule 10 of the Indian Constitution. Which of the following states is regarded as the pioneer of the right to information in India? RT, right to information, RTI. Right to information, 
regarded as the pioneer of the right to information in India is the state West Bengal. This state is regarded as the pioneer of the right to information. On which of the following dates was the national flag of India adopted? 22nd of July 1947, 15th August 1947, 14th August 1947, 26th January 1950. It should be 22nd of July 1947. On this date, the national flag of India was adopted. The five-year plans provided for in the Indian constitution were borrowed from the constitution of which nation? Ireland, Canada, Soviet Union or the Great Britain? The first five-year plan as we know it started in 1951 and lasted till 1958. This feature was borrowed from the Soviet Union, that is USSR. C is the right answer. Who was the first speaker of the Indian Independent India's Legislative Assembly? B. R. Krishnan, G. V. Mablankar, C. Raja Gopalachari, and Madhavarao. It is G. Mablankar, the first speaker of the in dependent India's Legislative Assembly. How many schedules have been incorporated in the Indian Constitution? 10, 9, 12, 14 or 8? See, how many schedules have been incorporated in the Indian Constitution? As of now, there are 12 schedules in the Indian Constitution. It originally had 8 schedules. Later on, 4 has been incorporated. As 4 is not there in the option, so the right option should be 12. The Indian constitution consists of 12 schedules as of now. <coughs> right to livelihood of slum dwellers was decided for by the Supreme Court in which landmark judgment? Minerva Mills case, Olga Telly's case, Golaknath case or in the Indian express case it should be the olga telly's case in this case the supreme court held that right to life under article 19 includes right to livelihood this is olga telly's case in the event of a tie who among the following has a casting vote in the lok sabha The President of India, the Prime Minister, in Leader of Opposition, Speaker of Lok Sabha. In the event of a tie, the Speaker of Lok Sabha has a casting vote in the Lok Sabha. The oath of the Governor of the State is administered by the President of India, Chief Justice of Supreme Court, Chief Justice of the High Court of the State, Vice President of India. The Governor of the State is administered by the oath is administered by the Chief Justice of the High Court of that particular state. C is the correct answer. A person can move to the High Court under Article directly in case of his violation of fundamental rights. A person can move to the High Court under article 226 directly in case of his violation of rights and a person can also move directly to supreme court under article 32 32 that is supreme court and 226 it is high court the government establishes gram nailers for every district block circle tehsil or metropolitan area. The government establishes gram nailers for every block. The first session of the Lok Sabha was held on 21st of February 1952, 26th January 1950, 26th December 1949, or 13th of May 1952. The first session of Lok Sabha was held on 13th of May 1952. This is the correct answer.
पर्सनल फ्रीडम इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाय विच प्रोटेक्टेड बाय विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्शियोरारी क्यो वारेंटो रीट मैंडामस हैवी स्कॉर्पस दिस हैवी स्कॉर्पस पर्सनल फ्रीडम हैवी मींस इट इज अ रीट पर्सनल फ्रीडम इट इज रिलेटेड टू पर्सन दैट इज द बॉडी दिस रीट ऑफ हैवी स्कॉर्पस इज इश्यूड by authorities to bring the body that is provides the provision of personal freedom habeas corpus should be the correct answer who was the chairman of the draft drafting committee of the constitution of india motilal nehru c raja gopalachari dr b r ambedkar sarojini naidu sardar patel chairman of the drafting committee of the constitution of india was dr b r ambedkar territorial waters of india extend up to how many nautical miles 16 22 12 or 15 the territorial waters of india extends up to 12 nautical miles In which of the following states was the system of panchayati raj introduced for the first time in India? Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana, West Bengal. It is Rajasthan. In October 1959, panchayati raj was introduced in Rajasthan for the first time in India. The first no confidence motion moved in Lok Sabha post independence was in the year 1963 1972 1953 or 1961 The first no confidence motion was moved in Lok Sabha in the year 1963 after this indo china war by j b kiplani by j b kiplani in the year 1963 the first no confidence motion in lok sabha was moved the highest law officer of a state in india is the advocate general solicitor general attorney general central law minister or the president of India The highest law officer of a state is the advocate general The advocate general is the highest law officer in the state whereas the highest law officer in the country is the attorney general law officer of a state the highest law officer is the advocate general the highest law officer of india then it will be attorney general oh who amongst the following is the highest law officer in india as told earlier it is attorney general under section 71 sorry under article 76 sub clause 1 attorney general of india is appointed by the president of india which among the following is not one of the types of questions that can be asked in the lok sabha stated unstated questions to private members none of the above which of the following is not one of the types of question that can be asked in the lok sabha not one of the types of question it is none of the above all these types of question can be asked in lok sabha the meaning of foreign state as under the indian constitution is commonwealth nation any other state apart from india federal state states not in asia the meaning of a foreign state as under the indian constitution is any other state apart from india 
who among the following is largely credited for the introduction of public interest litigation in India? Justice B. R. Krishna Iyer, Justice P. N. Bhagavati, Justice S. S. H. Kapadia, Justice Z. S. Shingbi. It should be Justice P. N. Bhagavati. The representation of Anglo-Indian community in Lok Sabha is dealt with which of the following articles? Article 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3, 0 or 3, 2, 9. The representation of Anglo-Indian community in the Lok Sabha, it is provided under Article 331. A person can move to the Supreme Court under Article directly in case of violation of fundamental rights. As discussed, discussed earlier, a person can move to the Supreme Court directly under Article 32 and to High Court under Article 226. The President can neither withhold nor refrain from his consent in which of the following matters, money bill, defense bill, finance bill, human rights bill. It should be the money bill. The president has to provide his assent in the money bill. Under article 111 under of the constitution of India, the president can neither withhold nor refrain from his providing consent in case of money bills. Ad hoc committees to the parliament are assigned by Speaker of Lok Sabha, Chairman of Lok Sabha, Chairman of Rajya Sabha, both A and C. See who are uh, these ad hoc committees. Ad hoc committees are appointed for a specific task and as soon as the task is completed, the committee is dissolved. So, they can be appointed by the Speaker of the Lok Sabha and the Chairman of Rajya Sabha. So, the answer is both A and C. Chairman of Rajya Sabha and Speaker of Lok Sabha both can appoint ad hoc committees for a specific task. Right to vote is a fundamental right, constitutional right, legal right, statutory right. Right to vote is a fundamental right, no, a constitutional right, it is also no, it is a statutory right under Representation of People's Act 1951, under Representation of People's Act 1951, right to vote is a statutory right. Mr. ABC, a fictitious person is aged as 32 years. In terms of his age, he cannot be the Prime Minister of India, a member of the Lok Sabha, the President of India, a member of Rajya Sabha. The minimum age for the President of India is 35 years. So, he cannot be the President of India under Article 58 of the constitution of India. In article 58 it says to be a president of India he should be at least 35 years of age. Laws pertaining to elections of the state legislature are made by the election commission, parliament, Vidhan Sabha or the president. Laws pertaining to election it is coming under the union list. So the state legislature are made by laws pertaining to elections. These are made by the parliament as is, this is under union list. Raj Pramukh as under the Indian constitution is represented by president of India, governor of state, both A and B or none of the 
above. Raj Pramukh as under the Indian constitution is represented by the president of India and the governor of state both A and B and this title existed till the year 1956. If articles, constitution, sections, civil procedure code, Indian contract, Indian penal code, all of the above. If article is to constitution, then section is to civil procedure code, Indian contract act, Indian penal code. Except this constitution. This civil procedure code, Indian contract, act, any other law, we call them as sections. Only the constitution, the only for the constitution of India, we use these articles. Otherwise, this word section used is used for every other laws. So the answer should be all of the above. If article is to constitution, then sections is to all of the above. Who among the following is legally competent to declare war? Majority consent of the houses of the parliament, the president of India, prime minister along with the consent, consent of the president, chairman of Rajya Sabha, president and chief justice of the Supreme Court of India. Who among the following is legally competent to declare war? is the president of India. In which case did Supreme Court hold that preamble is part of the constitution and they together with fundamental rights are subject to amending powers of parliament provided that basic structure is not destroyed. It is in Keshavananda Bharti versus state of Kerala. In which case did Supreme Court hold that preamble is part of the constitution and that they together with fundamental rights are subject to amending powers of the parliament provided that basic structure is not destroyed. Already have uh, covered this question. Keshavaranda Bharti versus state of Kerala. Rajya Sabha members are chosen by direct elections, indirect elections, assembly elections, all of the above. Rajya Sabha members are chosen by indirect elections. Lok Sabha members are elected directly. The right to constitutional remedies have been provided only to the citizens of India, residents of India, residents and citizens of India or everyone. The right to constitutional remedies is provided only to the citizens of India. Members of the Indian Public Service Commissions retire at the age of 65, 68, 62 or 64. 65 years. Members of the Indian Public Services retire at the age of 65 years and they can hold office for a period of only 6 years. A special leave to appeal by the Supreme Court has been provided under which of the following constitutional provisions? Article 135, Article 136, Article 227 or Article 32. A special leave to appeal by the Supreme Court has been provided under Article 136. Powers, privileges and immunities provided to members of state legislatures have been provided under which article? It is 105, 194, 107 or 195. These powers are actually known as these powers of privileges and immunities provided to members of the state legislatures are uh, better known as the parliamentary powers and these are provided under article 194, 194. Consider the statement. Supreme Court of India is the highest court of appeals. Yes, it is correct. Supreme Court is the custodian of the constitution. It is also correct. Supreme Court's advice is binding on the president of India.
let's see what happens supreme court is empowered to appoint judges of lower courts one alone is correct one and two are correct one two and three are correct and all are correct the supreme court of india is the highest court of india uh, appeals it is correct supreme court of supreme court is the custodian of the constitution these both are correct supreme court's advice is binding on the president of india no it is not binding president can ask for supreme court's advice but the advice will not be binding upon the president of india so the answer one and two are only correct Sri M. Anantasiyan Iyengar was the first Desh of Lok Sabha, Speaker, Deputy Speaker, Leader of Opposition, Leader of House, Leader of Opposition, no, Speaker is also no, it should be Deputy Speaker. The Leader of Opposition, the first Leader of Opposition was Y. V. Chavan and the first Speaker was The first speaker was the Mavalankar. First speaker was GB Mavalankar. How do directive principles of state policies differ from fundamental rights? Directive principles of state policy differs from fundamental rights. The former are meant for central government, whereas the latter are meant for the state. The former are not a part of the constitution, whereas the latter are a part of the constitution. The directive principles are not enforceable, whereas the fundamental rights are and so this is the correct answer the directive principles are not enforceable whereas the fundamental rights are enforceable the Lok Sabha house of people was duly constituted for the first time on 13th May 1952, 25th of October 1951, 17th of April 1952, and 21st of April 1952. The Lok Sabha House of People was duly constituted for the first time on 17th of April, and the first session was on 13th of May 1952. The first it was duly constituted for the first time on 17th of April. 1952. The Supreme Court, in the famous case of Manka Gandhi versus Union of India, held that the state did not interfere with the person's liberty to roam uh, to roam around India. Right, not expressly mentioned in any clause of Article 19, sub clause 1, could still be covered by it under necessary implication. Dramatic performance is a form of speech and expression under Article 19 of the Constitution or none of the above. The Supreme Court in the famous case of Menka Gandhi versus Union of India held that right not expressly mentioned in any clause under Article 19 sub clause 1 could still be covered by it under necessary implication. This is right to life under Article 19, sub clause 1. It provides the provision for right to life. So, right which are not expressly mentioned even in this clause could still be covered by it under necessary implication. The Supreme Court of India enjoys appellate jurisdiction, advisory jurisdiction, original jurisdiction 
it should be all of the article 20 of the indian constitution provides for ex post facto laws double jeopardy and preventive detention ex post facto laws double jeopardy and right against self incrimination self incrimination ex post facto laws and self incrimination only as ex post facto laws double jeopardy self incrimination and preventive detention article 20 of the constitution provides for three things ex post facto laws double jeopardy and the right against self incrimination so b is the correct answer why was the date 26th january of 1950 chosen for the constitution of india to come into effect to commemorate the date on which government of india act 1935 was passed to commemorate the Purna Swara's declaration promulgated by the Indian National Congress in 1930. The date was agreed upon mutually by Indians and Britishers and was also mentioned in Indian Independence Act 1947 or none of the above. Now, it is to commemorate the Purna Swara's declaration promulgated by the Indian National Congress in 1933, uh, sorry, 1930. Therefore, this date of 26th of January 1950 was chosen for the Constitution of India to come into effect. Which one of the following days was celebrated as Independence Day by the Indian National Congress before 15th of August became the official Independence Day of India in 1947? 26th of November, 2nd of January, 26th of January or 30th of January. It is 26th of January. Before this 15th August became the official Independence Day of India in 1947, 26th January was celebrated as the Independence Day by the Indian National Congress. A money bill can be introduced only in Lok Sabha by any minister, only by the speaker, only by any minister of the ruling party, only by the finance minister. A money bill can be introduced in Lok Sabha by any minister. It is not mandatory that he should be the finance minister or he should be the minister of the ruling party or only by the speaker. It can be introduced by any minister. Which among the following bodies is also known as popular chamber Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, Supreme Court of India or the High Courts. The popular chamber, this Lok Sabha house of people, this is known as the popular chamber. Which one of the following was not true about the Indian constitution when it came into effect on 26th of January 1950? It contained 12 schedules, it is wrong. It contained 395 articles. Which of the following was not true? It is not true. It contained 395 articles. It is correct. The articles were divided into 22 parts. This is also correct. It was the world's longest written constitution. It is also correct. The wrong one is it contained 8 schedules. No, it contained 8 schedules. Later on, 4 schedules have been incorporated. On which of the following days was the Indian Indian Independence Act 1947 passed by the Parliament of the United Kingdom 18th July 1947 15th of August 1947 29th August 1947 26th of July 1947 on which of the following days was the Indian Independence Act 1947 passed by the Parliament of the United Kingdom it is on 18th of July 1947 Seven. Private parts paid to the rulers, princely states were abolished by 24th Amendment, Amendment Act, 12th Amendment, 10th Amendment, 26th Amendment. The private parts paid to the rulers, princely state was abolished by 26th Amendment. 
India has been described in the Constitution of India as the Union of States, a United Nation, Federation of States, or none of the above. It is the Union of States. Who amongst the following was appointed as the Vice President of the Constituent Assembly with Dr. Rajendra Prasad as the President? Dr. Sachanin Sacha. Sachidananda Sinha, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Prof. Harendra Kumar Mukherjee, Sir Bengal Nursing Ra. The answer should be Who was the Vice President of the Constituent? assembly with Dr. Rajendra Prasad as the president. It was Professor Harendra Kumar Mukherjee. It was Professor Harendra Kumar Mukherjee. Who amongst the following was the first president of the constituent assembly? <coughs> this is Sacha Nidad. Sacha Sasidananda Sina. This is Sasidananda Sasidananda Sina. He was the first president of the Constituent Assembly. Who amongst the following was appointed as the Constitutional Advisor to the Constituent Assembly? Who later was also appointed as the Judge of the Permanent Court of Internal Justice? Internal Justice The Hague. Raghunandan Pathak, B. R. Krishna, I. R. P. N. Rao, and Nagendra Singh. Who was appointed as the constitutional advisor to the constituent assembly who later was also appointed as a judge in the permanent court of the international justice it is b n rao the term of office of speaker of lok sabha is five years three years two years from his election to the dissolution of lok sabha to which he was elected it should be from his election to the dissolution of Lok Sabha to which he was elected. Who amongst the following has not been one of the judges from the India in International Court of Justice, the Hub? Who amongst the following has not been one of the judges of from India in the International Court of Justice, the Hub? P. N. Rao, he was. Nagendra Singh, he also was. Atima Bibi, she was not. Dalvir Bhandari, he was. Atima Bibi was not. Has not been one of the judges from India in the International Court of Justice. Option C is the correct answer. Consider the following. The first Chief Justice of India was Justice H.K. Kaniya. Justice Anna Chandi was the first woman judge to be elected, elevated to the Supreme Court. Only one is true, two is true, both one and two are true, neither one, neither two. The first Chief Justice of India was H.J. Kanajia. This is true. Only one is true. Justice Anna Chandi was the first woman judge to be elevated to the Supreme Court. No, this was not Justice Anna Chandi. This was Justice Fatima Bibi. Justice Fatima Bibi was the first woman judge to be elevated to the Supreme Court. Consider the following. Justice Anna Chandi was the first woman judge of India and the first woman in India to reach a high court judgeship, Justice Fatima Bibi was the first woman judge to be appointed to the Supreme Court of India. It is correct. And Justice Chandi was the first woman judge of India and the first woman in India to reach the high court judgeship. Both are correct. The answer is C. Both one and two are true. 
विच एमोंग्स द फॉलोइंग नेशन इज सेड टू हैव द मोस्ट पावरफुल पार्लियामेंट इन द वर्ल्ड इंडिया यूएसए यूके पाकिस्तान द मोस्ट पावरफुल पार्लियामेंट इन द वर्ल्ड इज द यूके The first Asian to be called the Bard of Bard in England was Chittaranjan Das, Subhash Chandra Bose, Ganendra Mohan Tagore, Sujata Manohar. The first Asian to be called to the Bard in England was Ganendra Mohan Tagore. The presiding officers of the Lok Sabha is R, Speaker and Deputy Speaker, Speaker only. Deputy Speaker only, none of the above. The presiding officers of the Lok Sabha are Speaker and the Deputy Speaker. Consider the following. Justice K. G. Balakrishnan was the first person of Dalit origin to have served as the Chief Justice of India. The judges of the Supreme Court are appointed for a term of six years or till they attain the age of 65 years. Which ever is earlier. One only one is true, only two is true, both one and two are true, neither one nor two are true. Justice Balakrishnan, K. G. Balakrishnan was the first person of Dalit, uh, Dalit origin to have served as the Chief Justice of India. It is correct. The judges of the Supreme Court are appointed for a term of six years. Or till they attain the age of 65 years, no. They are appointed for a term, indefinite term, indefinite term, or and they can attain 65 years. There is an age limit that they can be, the judges of the Supreme Court can be can serve as a judge in the Supreme Court up to the age of 65 years but there is no definite period that they are appointed for a term of 6 years, 4 years, whatever. They can serve as sir, judges of the Supreme Court till they attain the age of 65 years, that is correct but this term of 6 years is wrong, therefore only one is true. Who amongst the following Chief Justice of India hold the unique distinction of being the only person to have served the offices of Chief Justice of India, President of India and Vice President of India? It is Justice K. G. Balakrishnan, Justice B. N. Khare, Justice Y. K. Savarwal, Justice M. Hidayatullah. It is Justice M. Hidayatullah. He is served as the Chief Justice of India. President of India as well as Vice President of India. The largest ever bench of the Supreme Court, a 13 judge constitutional bench, decided on the case of I.C. Golak Nath versus State of Punjab. The concept of famed basic structure doctrine was introduced in the case of Keshavananda Bharti versus State of Kerala. This concept of famed basic structure doctrine was introduced by this Keshavananda Bharti versus state of Kerala. This one is only true. The largest ever pens. It is wrong. As it originally stood, the Constitution of India provided for Chief Justice and seven other judges of Supreme Court of India. The Supreme Court of India can current 
correctly accommodated the chief justice and 30 other judges which one is true only one is true two is true both one and true as it originally stood the constitution of india provided for its chief justice and seven other judges for the supreme court of india it is correct and the supreme court of india can currently accommodate the chief justice and 30 other judges it is also correct so both one and two are correct earlier it originally the there were only one chief justice and seven other judges but after amendment in the year 2008 it is having a chief justice and 30 other judges both so both one and two are true the indian constitution envisages a bicameral system what is bicameralism the practice of having supreme court and high court the practice of having central government and state government the practice of having president and the prime ministers the practice of having two legislative chambers that is the lower house and the upper house that is the vidhan sabha legislative assembly and the legislative council this is known as bicameral system there are only six states where bicameral seat is in existence in india in which among the following cases supreme court held that article 21 includes right to die state of maharashtra versus Maruti Sripati Dubai, Gyan Kaur versus State of Punjab, <coughs> R. Rathinam, Nath Bhushan Patnaik versus Indian of India, K. Karuna Karan versus State of UP. It is in the case of P. Rathinam, Nath Bhushan Patnaik versus Union of India. Which one of the following features of our constitution has not been borrowed from the American constitution? Directed principles of the state policy. It has not been borrowed from the American constitution. It has been borrowed from the United States of, sorry, USSR, United from the united america united states of america we have borrowed fundamental rights independence of judiciary and judicial review the president being the executive head which of the following features of our constitution has not been borrowed from the american constitution the fundamental rights directive principles of the state policy independence of judiciary and judicial review the president being the executive head the question is following features has not been borrowed from the constitution of america this is from america this is also from america this is from america directive principle of state policy is not borrowed from the american constitution it is borrowed from the ireland So option B is the correct answer. The concept of suspension of fundamental rights during emergency has been borrowed from which of the following constitutions? Irish constitution, USA constitution, Weimar constitution of Germany, Canadian constitution. It is Weimar constitution, Germany suspension of fundamental rights from Weimar constitution from which of the following constitutions was the procedure of constitutional amendments borrowed south african constitution japanese constitution irish constitution and french constitution under article 368 the constitution can be amended and this feature has been borrowed from the constitution of south africa 
which amongst the following is not true about the Indian five year plans? The concept of five year plans has been borrowed from USSR. <clears throat> the period of the five year plan was from 1951 to 1956. India has had 11 five year plans till date. The last five year plan ended in 2017. India has had 11 five year plans till date is the wrong one. This is not true because India as of date it had 12 five year plans. The first one is started from 1951. When was the national emblem of India adopted? 26th of November 1949, 15th August 1947, 9th July 1947 or 26th of January 1950. The national emblem was adopted on 26th of January 1950. Which amongst the following is not true about Indian Independence Act 1947. It fixed the date of 15th August 1947 for the creation of two dominions such as India and Pakistan. It is asking about not true. It is true. The act was based on Mount Patton plan. It is also true. The Indian states were given an option to accede to either of the two dominions. It is also true. The responsibility of his Majesty's government in India would partially end on 15th August 1947 and fully end only when the Indian constitution comes into force. This is not true. So this is the correct answer. The first Indian Prime Minister to resign from his office was Morachi Desai, Indira Gandhi, Atal Bihari Bajpay, H.D. Deva Gowda. It was Moraji Desai. For acquiring citizenship by registration, a person of Indian origin should have ordinarily been resident in India for a period of 7 years, 5 years, 12 years and 2 years. It should be 7 years. Free legal aid though a dash is largely regarded by the courts as a <coughs> directive principle of state policy and fundamental right. Free legal aid, though it is a directive principle of the state policy, is largely regarded by the court as a fundamental right. It is the correct answer. Free legal aid is not a fundamental right. In all the options other than A, fundamental right duty fundamental right no it is not a fundamental duty nor neither it is a fundamental right it is the directive principles of the state policy but it is regarded as a fundamental right option a is the correct what is the minimum duration of stay essential before a person overseas citizen or indian citizen can apply or citizenship of India, citizenship by registration, 5 years, 7 years, 10 years or 12 years. The minimum duration of each day should be 5 years. The minimum duration of stay essential before a person overseas citizen or Indian citizen can apply for citizenship of India citizenship by registration is 5 years. And the other question was for acquiring citizenship by registration a person of Indian origin should have been ordinarily resident in India for a period of 
seven eight. If sixty first amendment voting is lowered, tenth amendment. If sixty first amendment is to voting is lowered, tenth amendment is to incorporation of Goa, Daman and Dew as union territories. Formation of Nagaland as a state, increase in size of parliament, incorporation of the other Nagaland Haveli as union territories. It is incorporation of the other Nagar and Haveli as union territories. This is the correct answer. In the 61st amendment, voting age was lowered. However, in the 10th amendment, Incorporation of the other Nagar and Haveli as union territories was done. 42nd Amendment to the Constitution of India asked during the emergency period added which of the following words to the preamble of India in addition to an integrity thus making unity and integrity of the nation. Socialist secular though sovereign and democratic democratic and secular socialist and sovereign it added socialist and secular socialist and secular was added in the 42nd amendment in addition to integrity Which of the following amendments to the Constitution of India is in itself called mini constitution? It is the 42nd amendment. 42nd amendment is called the mini constitution. Which of the following amendments to the Constitution lowered the voting years from 21 years to 18 years? It is the 61st amendment. It lowered the age of voting from 18 to uh, sorry 21 to 18. Which of the following articles of the Constitution of India does not contain any of the emergency provisions? 352, 356, 360, Article 368. It should be Article 368. By this article, amendment of the Constitution can be done. Article 352 is talking about national emergency. It is Article 360 is talking about financial emergency. And Article 356 provides the provision of president's rule. And Article 368 it is the amendment of the constitution. So option D is the right answer. Ad hoc judges are impeached judges, retired judges, judges selected only for a particular case or a particular purpose. Judges also acting as heads of the government appointed committee. Ad hoc judges are judges selected only for a particular case or a particular purpose. The portfolio among the ministers is allocated by the president, the prime minister, the finance minister, or the speaker of the Lok Sabha. The portfolios among the ministers is allocated by the prime minister. Which of the following articles of the Indian Constitution dealing with fundamental rights provides for the abolition of untouchability? Untouchability. The abolition of untouchability is provided under the provision of Article 17. What did the 12th Amendment of the, to the Constitution of India dealt with? Incorporation of Goa consequent to acquisition from Portugal. Incorporation of Dadar Nagar Haveli consequent to the acquisition of Portugal. Incorporation of Daman Dew consequent to acquisition of acquisition from Portugal. Under 12th Amendment, incorporation of Goa consequent to acquisition from Portugal and incorporation of Dadar Nagar Habeli consequent to constitution from acquisition from Portugal is dealt with both A and 
is uh, sorry both the answer should be both a and p incorporation of daman due consequent to acquisition of acquisition from portugal both a and c is the correct answer <coughs> Twelfth Amendment, Goa and Daman and Dew. Which amongst the following states was created by the Thirteenth Amendment to the Constitution of India? By Thirteenth Amendment to the Constitution of India, Nagaland was created. By 12th Amendment, Goa and Daman and Dew. By 13th Amendment, the state of Nagaland was created. Which amongst the following amendments to the Constitution of India amended the 8th Schedule to include Sindhi as official language? 20th Amendment, 21st Amendment, 30th Amendment, 12th Amendment. Sindhi has been included in the 8th Schedule as an official language by 21st the largest ever constitutional bench was constituted for deciding upon the celebrated case of Keshavananda Bharti versus state of Kerala in 1973 the highest ever constitutional bench of 13 judges B is the correct answer and why this uh, in this case, the court held that the basic stru structure of the constitution cannot be amended. The first article of the Indian constitution deals with right to life and property, liberty, preamble, name and territory of the union, admission or establishment of new states this preamble the first article of the indian constitution deals with preamble hmm. sorry the first article deals with name and territory of the union not the preamble preamble is a part of constitution but in the art first article name and territory territory of the union is dealt with how many states have bicameral state legislatures in India? 5, 6, 7 and 8. It is 6. Bicameral C is having two state legislatures. That is the Legislative Assembly and the Legislative Council. As of now, only 6 states in India is having this bicameral C. And the states are UP. Maharashtra, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, JNK, and Karnataka. Six states have bicameral state legislatures in India. Who used to be the ex officio chairman of Planning Commission, the President of India? Prime Minister of India, Finance Minister of India and none of the above. Ex officio chairman of the planning commission is the Prime Minister of India. A total number of financial emergencies have been imposed in India till that. Till date, there were no emergency financial emergencies imposed in India. Zero financial emergency. Which of the following is not required for, from a presidential candidate? He must be a citizen of India. It is required. He must be 35 years of age or above. It is also required. He must be qualified to become a member of Rajya Sabha. And he must be qualified to become a member of Lok Sabha this is not required 
he must be a citizen of india is required 35 years of age is required he must be qualified to become a member of lok sabha is also required but he is not required to be qualified to become a member of rajya sabha so option c is the correct answer name the president of india who declared emergency in india on june 27 uh, 26 june 1975 upon the request of the then prime minister indira gandhi m hidayatullah fakhruddin ali ahmed zakir hussain b v giri it is fakhruddin ali ahmed who amongst the following was the only president of india to have occupied the office two times fakhruddin ali ahmed m hidayatullah dr rajender prasad n s reddy it is dr rajender prasad to relinquish his office the president of india can submit his resignation to the vice president of india chief justice of india speaker of lok sabha and prime minister of india it is the vice president of india the preamble to the constitution of india does not include which amongst the following words republic socialist autonomous secular it is autonomous which amongst the following feature of the indian constitution has not been borrowed from the constitution of the united states of america fundamental rights preamble five year plans independence of judiciary and judicial review it is five year plans this has been borrowed borrowed from the constitution of us sr identify the current number of items in union state and concurrent list respectively <coughs> as of now there are 100 items in union list 52 in state list and 61 in concurrent this so a is the correct answer 152 and 61 if they are not adequately represented the president of india can nominate not more than two anglo indians to the house of people that is the lok sabha under article 331 Article 20 of the Indian Constitution does not provide for which of the following concepts: ex post facto laws, double jeopardy, right to property, right against self incrimination. The option is C. Article 20 provides provision for ex post facto laws, double jeopardy, and right against self incrimination. Right to property is not being provided under article 20 neither it is a right as of now this this was earlier a fundamental right but this has been removed the constitution of india initially had eight schedules when and by which amendment was the ninth schedule added to the constitution 1951 first amendment 1952 second amendment 1956 sixth amendment or 1961 11th amendment it is by the first amendment ninth schedule has been added by the first amendment in the year 1951 indian national congress was established on 28th of december 19 uh, 1888 28th of december 1885 25th of december 1887 or 21st of december 1891 it is 28th of december 1885 indian national congress was established which of the following bodies in india is not a constitutional body central vigilance commission central information commission planning commission of india second administrative reforms commission this is not a constitutional body planning commission of india in which year was the first law commission of india established 1958 1952 1955 or 1960 the first law commission was established in the year 1958 1952 1955 
1955. National emergency under Article 352 was declared for the first time during 1947 Indo-Pak separation, 1962 Indochina War, 1971 Indo-Pakistan War, or 1975. It was during Indochina War in the year 1962 in which among the following landmark judgments did the Supreme Court lay down the exhaustive guidelines to prevent sexual harassment for working women in places of their work. <coughs> Usainara Khatun v. Home Secretary, State of Bihar, Vishakha v. State of Rajasthan, Manika Gandhi v. Union of India, M.C. Mehta v. Union of India. It is Bishakha versus State of Rajasthan. The Supreme Court laid down the exhaustive guidelines to prevent sexual harassment of working women in places of their work. That is Bishakha versus State of Rajasthan. Who amongst the following is the only Indian president to have been elected unopposed? M. Hidayatullah, Jail Singh, APJ Abdul Kalam, Nilam Sanjeev Reddy. It is Nilam. Sanjeev Reddy. <clears throat> the Constitution of India under Article 343, sub clause 1, mandates that the official language of India shall be Hindi and Urdu, Hindi in Devnagri script, English, Hindi, English, and Urdu. It is Hindi in Devnagri script under Article 343, sub clause 1. Constitution of India mandates that the official language of India shall be Hindi in Devanagari script. The basic features of constitution now includes rule of law, separation of powers, federal national, all of the above. It is all of the above. Who amongst the following is the ex officio chairman of Rajya Sabha of India? Vice President, President. Speaker of Lok Sabha, Leader of Opposition. It is the Vice President. The Vice President is the ex officio chairman of the Rajya Sabha of India. In case of infringement of the directive principles of state policy, there exists a remedy in all the courts. There is no remedy by judicial proceedings. There exists a remedy in Lok Adalat. There exists a remedy only in the Supreme Court. Directive principle of the state policy, there is no remedy by judicial proceeding. There are three bodies which are part of a legislature of India. Name all three of them. The President of India, Prime Minister and Leader of the Opposition. The President of India, Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. The President of India, Prime Minister and Lok Sabha, the Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition and the Speaker of Lok Sabha. There are three bodies which are part of a legislature of India, name all three of them. That is the President of India and the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. Which Lok Sabha was formed in 20, 2014 to 19 session? Tenth. 13th, 16th or 14th. It is the 16th Lok Sabha. It was formed during 2014 to 19. What is the lame duck session in the parliament? It is a session called upon by the opposition whereby they have agreed not to vote on any of the proposals. This is the session held when the new parliament is elected but the old one meets for one last time. Lame duck session is this session which is held when the new parliament is elected but the old ones meet for the last time. This is lame duck session. Right to information is a statutory right, fundamental right, basic right and fundamental duty. It is a statutory right. Identify the first Chief Justice of India from the following Justice Ranganath Mishra, Justice Anna Chandi, Justice H. J. Kanye, 
जस्टिस बरोचा इट इज जस्टिस एच जे कानिया इज द फर्स्ट चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया जस्टिस एच जे कानिया विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट वन ऑफ द एक्सक्लूसिव क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर बिकमिंग ए जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया He should be citizen of India and should have been a judge of the High Court for at least five years. Okay, he sh he should be a citizen of India and should have been a judge of High Court for at least five years. He should be a citizen of India and should have been an advocate of a High Court for at least ten years. Okay, it is also correct. He should be a citizen of India and should have been practiced in the Supreme Court for at least ten years. It is not. it is not correct he should be a citizen of india and should have been practicing in the supreme court no he should be a citizen of india and should be in the opinion of the president a distinguished jurist okay so to be a judge of supreme court of india it is not mandatory that he should practice in the supreme court he should have been a advocate of high court for at least 10 years that is this is mandatory but to practice in supreme court for at least 10 years is not mandatory which among the following is not one of the classical languages of india tamil sanskrit malayalam and kannada classical languages of india malayalam is not the classical languages of india the supreme court now has a sanctioned strength of 34 judges what was the original strength of supreme court when the constitution came into being it was eight judges including the chief justice of india high courts of bombay kolkata and madras were established in the years 1935 1960 18 and 1947 or 1861 bombay kolkata and madras was established in the year 1861 on which date did supreme court hold its inaugural sitting 26 january 1950 15th of august 1950 28 january 1950 first february 1950 it is 28th of january 1950 Supreme Court hold its inaugural sitting. Which constitutional body has the power to amend the Constitution of India? Judiciary, executive, legislature, all of the above. It is the legislature. That is the Parliament. In the landmark judges of Keshavananda versus Vastet Bharatiya versus State of Kerala, the validity of which of the following constitutional amendment acts were held twenty second and twenty third amendment twenty eighth and twenty ninth amendment forty second amendment or twenty fourth and twenty fifth amendment it is twenty fourth and the twenty fourth amendment. by this landmark judgment the court held that the basic structure of the constitution cannot be amended dr r k raghavan committee was formed to control corruption ragging brain drain none of the above r k raghavan committee was formed to control ragging who is the head of the council of ministers which is constitutionally obligated to aid and advise the president of india the lead, leader of the ruling party the speaker of the lok sabha the prime minister or the law minister it is the prime minister of india under article 74 sub clause 1 of indian constitution prime minister is the head of council of ministers which is constitutionally obligated to aid and advise the president of india So the which constitutional body is the council of ministers collectively responsible house of people or lok sabha 
Council of States or Rajya Sabha, President of India or all of the above. Constitutional body, the Council of Ministers are collectively responsible to Lok Sabha. The total number of ministers including the Prime Minister cannot exceed the total of the total number of members of the house of people the total number of ministers cannot including the prime minister cannot exceed 15 percent of the total member of the house of people 15 percent that means the maximum members who can be ministers including the prime minister should be 15 percent of the house of people that is the Lok Sabha which among the following is also described as a super cabinet due to its mode of functioning provided functioning of providing directions to the government parliamentary affairs committee appointments committee Economic Affairs Committee, Political Affairs Committee. Super Cabinet, due to its mode of functioning of providing directions to the government, it is the Political Affairs Committee. What is the full form of MPLADS, LADS in the MPLADS scheme? It is Member of Parliament Land and District Scheme. Member of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme Member of Parliament Land Area Development Scheme Member of Parliament Local Area Distribution Scheme It is Member of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme Name the amendment by which the election of Prime Minister of India was made beyond the scrutiny of Indian courts 42nd Amendment, 39th Amendment, 44th Amendment or 24th Amendment. It is the 39th Amendment in the year 1975 by which the election of Prime Minister of India was excluded from the scrutiny of the Indian courts. In which year was the Parliament of India founded? 1925, 1947, 1950, 1919. It is 1919. Parliament of India was founded in the year 1919. The parliamentary system of government in India, whereby the Prime Minister is the presiding head and the President or head of the state is only a ceremonial head, is inspired from the UK system and is called common law. Westminster model, civil law and parliamentary law. It is Westminster model. President is the executive head and Prime Minister is the presiding head of the government. Which of the following acts provided for the independence of India from the Britishers. It is Indian Independence Act 1947. Indian Independence Act 1947. The directive principles of state policy are given under which part of the constitution? Part 1, Part 4, Part 12, or Part 3. It is provided under Article Part under part 4 directive principles of the state policy from the following identify the first woman minister, chief minister of an Indian state Nandini Satpati, Suchata Kriplani, Jai Lalitha and Rabri Devi the first woman chief minister of an Indian state is Suchata Kriplani What happens during the period of emergency? The President exercises discretionary powers. The President is bound by the advice of Council of Ministers. 
the president can overrule any executive decision and all of the above. During the period of emergency, the president is bound by the advice of Council of Ministers. The maximum duration of zero hour in Lok Sabha can be one hour, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or unspecified. The maximum duration of zero hour is unspecified. Who was made the Prime Minister of India when Janta Party came to power in 1977, who was also the first non-Congress Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Bajpay, Moraji Desai, H.J. Dev Gowda, and none of the above. It is Moraji Desai. 42nd Amendment added fundamental duties to the Indian Constitution. Name the article and part which were added to introduce fundamental duties. Article 51A and Part 4 Article 50 and Part 4A, Article 51 and Part 4A, Article 75 and Part 4A. It is Article 50 and Part 4A. 42nd Amendment Fundamental Duties were added by uh, under Article 50 and Part 4A. It is Article 51A and Part 4A. Article 51A and Part 4A. C is the correct answer. The Parliament has to approve financial emergency declared by the President within the duration of 6 months, 3 months, 2 months or 12 months. The parliament has to approve financial emergency declared by the president within the duration of two months. Under article 360, 12th session of the constituent assembly, which was also its last one, was held on 12, uh, 26th of January 1950, 24th January 1950. 26 November 1949, 24th of January 1949. It, it is 24th of January 1950. The 12th session of the Constituent Assembly. It was on 24th of January 1950. Mandamas a privileged writ lies against anyone with an intention of enforcing contracted obligations, only a company or a corporate office. Re restraining a public interest in litigation, none of the above. Mandamus, a privileged writ, lies against restraining a public interest litigation. Under which article of the Constitution of India can the provisions of the Constitution be amended under Article 368? Through the 86th Amend Constitution Amendment Act, which article has been inserted which deals with the right to education under Article 21, 21A, 51A, Article 45. It is Article 21A, right to education under 20, Article 21A by 86th constitutional amendment for what duration of the Rajya Sabha can withhold money bills 14 days 6 days 6 months Rajya Sabha cannot withhold money bills it Rajya Sabha can withhold the money bills for 14 days only for 14 days Article 19 of the Constitution provides for freedoms which are circumstant and immutable, absolute without any restrictions, subject to reasonable restrictions, both A and C. <coughs> Article 19 of the Indian Constitution provides for 
freedoms which are subject to reasonable restrictions. In which year was the first draft of Indian Constitution proposed? 1945, 46, 47 or 1929? It is 1946. The first draft of the Indian Constitution was proposed in the year 1946. Morley Minto reforms is associated with Indian Council Act 1856, Indian Council Act 1909, Indian Council Act 1908 or Indian Council Act 1912. It is Morley Minto reforms, it is associated with Indian Council Act 1909. On which of the following dates was the resolution for translation of Constitution of India into Hindi and many other languages of India was passed by the Constituent Assembly? On which of the following dates? It is 17th of September 19. 49. A resolution for translation of constitution of India into Hindi and many other languages of India was passed by the Constituent Assembly on 17th of September 1949. A total of sessions were held by the Constituent Assembly 20, 11, 15 and 12. A total of 11 sessions were held by the Constituent Assembly. Which body has the power to call for a joint sitting of both the Houses of Parliament? The Prime Minister, the President, the Member of Parliament, the Members of the Legislative Assembly. It is the President of India. He can call for a joint sitting. Financial emergency is declared by of the India and has been declared times in India. It is president and not a single time. The financial emergency is declared by president of India and has been declared not a single times in India. The chief election commissioner of India is appointed by the president, prime minister, election commissioners, both A and B. It is the President. The Chief Election Commissioner of India is appointed by the President. What is the quantum of reservation for women at all the levels of panchayats? One third, half, one fourth, one eighth. It is one third. Quantum of reservation for women, women at all levels of panchayat is one third. How many joint sittings of both the Houses of Parliaments have been convened so far? 1, 3, 9, 32. It is only 3. There were only 3 joint sittings of both the houses of the parliaments convened so far. Lok Sabha members are elected by people's representation, state legislatures, electoral college, Rajya Sabha members. It is the people's representation. People directly vote for this member of Lok Sabha. Which constitutional amendment is also referred to as mini constitution? It is the 42nd amendment. The Advocate General of a state is appointed by the President, the Chief Minister, Law Minister or the Governor. It is the Governor. Advocate General is the highest law officer of a state and he is appointed by the Governor of the particular state. The 1946 cabinet mission to India was formulated to discuss the transfer of power from British Parliament to India. Name the politician at whose instance this mission was instituted. Sir John Simon, Clement Attlee, Stafford Cribbs and Lord Webel. It is Clement Attlee. The transfer of power from British Parliament to India the politician at whose instance this mission was instituted is Clement Attlee. Article 370 is related to special status given to Jammu and Kashmir Emergency Provisions Fundamental Rights Amendment Procedure. <coughs> it is special status given to Jammu and Kashmir. Emergency provisions it is provided under Articles 352 to 3, 
60. Fundamental rights it is provided under Article 14 to 21. An amendment procedure is under Article 368. There is no hereditary ruler ruling it to a particular state or the country in India and to the and all the authorities of the state are directly or indirectly elected by the people which are ensured by its secular nature, republican character, sovereign nature or the socialist nature. There is no hereditary ruler ruling a particular state or country in India and all the authorities of the state are directly or indirectly elected by the people which are which is ensured by its republican character which of the following about the Rajya Sabha is correct it is a permanent body that never dissolves correct it is its members are directly elected by the people it is wrong it consists of not more than 250 members it is correct one third of his members retire every two years. It is also correct. The correct answer is one, three, and four. In a parliament, a third question is one to which a member desires an oral answer, a written answer, an oral answer with a written explanation, or a secret answer. A third question is one of the question to which a member desires an oral answer. How many regional languages are enlisted in the 8th schedule of the constitution of India? It is 22 official languages under schedule 8. There are 22 languages. In which of the following cases the Supreme Court held that the fundamental rights cannot be abridged? S.R. Bumani v. Union of India, I.C. Kolaknath v. State of Punjab, Keshavananda Bharti v. State of Kerala, Menka Gandhi v. Union of India. Fundamental rights cannot be abridged. It is in I see Golaknath case versus state of Punjab. Which among the following is not a fundamental right anymore? Right to life, right to education, right to right against exploitation, and right to property. Right to property, it is not a fundamental right anymore. A public interest litigation can be filed by only an advocate, any person having sufficient interest, the aggrieved party only, and NGO only. Any person having an having sufficient interest, public interest litigation can be filed. Out of the following, which is a non-justiciable feature of the Indian Constitution? Directive principles of, principles of the state policy, preamble, fundamental rights. Which is not justiciable? It is the directive principles of the state policy. Legal proceedings cannot be you know, instituted for this directive principles of the state policy. Non-justiciable feature of the Indian Constitution, directive principles of the state policy, and also the preamble, and also the preamble, both A and P. The executive powers of the union are vested with the president, prime minister, cabinet, none of the above. The executive power of the Indian is vested with the President of India.
the executive powers of India are vested with the President of India. Already have done this. Supreme courts can issue writs only on violation of legal rights, violation of moral rights, violation of fundamental rights under Article 32. You have the body in Latin terms means have his purpose. Bring the body. Who among the following certifies if a financial bill is a money bill or not? A speaker of Lok Sabha, the President, the Chairman of the Rajya Sabha, the Finance Minister. It is the speaker of Lok Sabha. Impeachment of President refers to the appointment of a President, judicial powers assigned to the President, process of removal of President, process of briefing the President on issues affecting national interest. It is the process of removal of the President impeachment the guardian of public purse and the head of audits the accounts of the government of india is the attorney general the controller and auditor general the solicitor general and the finance minister the answer is the controller and auditor general in the landmark heavy corpus adm jabalpur versus shivkant shukla case during the emergency a judge gave a lone dissenting opinion he was due to become the next chief justice of india in 1977 but was not allowed in spite of him being the senior most judge of the supreme court he resigned in protest which judge are we talking about justice m h beck justice h r khanda justice grover justice heck Agree. The landmark habeas corpus idiom Jabalpur vs. Shipkant it is Justice H. R. Khanna, but was not allowed to allowed in spite of him being the senior most judge of the Supreme Court. He resigned in protest. Which judge are we talking about? Is Justice H. R. Khanna. Who among the following presides over Lok Sabha when the office of both Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the Lok Sabha fall vacant? The President, any person appointed by the President for this purpose, any person appointed by Speaker for this purpose, any person appointed by the Prime Minister for this purpose it is any person appointed by the president for this purpose and the speaker is known as speaker pro term pro term any person appointed by the president for this purpose a total of dash sessions of the lok sabha are held in a year How many sessions of the Lok Sabha are held in a year? Three. It is the budget session, the monsoon session, and the winter session. Budget, monsoon, and winter.